Weighing in at 56.95 kilograms, standing 171 centimetres tall. A multiple amateur boxing champion, as an amateur winning 96 fights from 119 outings. As a professional, he brings to the ring absolute boxing perfection. 16 fights, 16 wins, 10 of those inside the distance. He is Ozzy Joe Brunka. Anthony Shipley, our man in charge of the action, our three ringside judges, Mick Heafy, Bernie, timekeeper at the bell is Des Bloyd, and the supervisor this evening, Mr. Craig Waller. Yes. We are underway, 10 three minute rounds of featherweight action. This is a tough fight for Joel Brunker. You know, he had a different opponent yep. leading into this mentally. That's what I'm also mean, a tough fight. He has to readjust. You know, he's got a person in front of him that he probably should beat, but he's also very, very dangerous with good power. So, Joel, it's very hard to get up mentally and have to, uh, you know, try and back up and beat this guy. <laughs> oh, nice right attack. Work. First class from Branca. Wide stance for a young bloke who's just 5'7". 171 centimeters. Really sitting down on his shots, goes for the body again. He's sort of got it with the short opponent. Yeah. It's very hard to explain, but you would think, you know, stand up high, use your reach, but it's very hard to tag that short opponent. You have to sort of come down to their level and try and score. <laughs> Little low, warning from Anthony Shipley, uh, referee. Very strong punch, Alirio. Seems to have a lot of power. Although only five knockouts in his career. Yeah, just the five knockouts. And 13 wins. Solid with that left hand. Oh. Oh, a good body shot, and that hurt Roberto Lerio, that right hand into the left rib cage. That's what Brunker needs to do. He's just got to stay smart at the same time. Lerio seems quite strong to the body himself. Brunker's got to stay tight, and when the opportunity's there, dig them into the body. Break this guy down. Won the Australian featherweight title with a round KO over, over Gonzalez. Already ranked number eight in the Commonwealth at this weight. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if I see a head clash or a cut open up yeah. sometime soon. Number eight in the Commonwealth. Yeah. Come on, Dino! I wouldn't Watch mind seeing Joel Brunker chase that opportunity. Yeah, I, I like the look of the Commonwealth title. <laughs> nice job. Call, call me a little old school, but I like the, the sound and look of an Aussie title and a Commonwealth title shot. Yeah, I agree. 100%. Oh, second one potentially just a, a little low from uh, the young man originally from... No use taking major risks earlier. Win the fight first. Break them down. Almost a minute into round number three. Gee, there's plenty of questionable shots in round three so far. Right on the belt lines. Three ringside judges, McKeithy, Bernie McMahon and Max Murphy. Get that water there, lads. Get the water. I tell you what, I was at uh, Bold. Challenge Davy Brown. Went the distance with Davy Brown, as a matter of fact. Lurio upset about a low shot. Oh, a nice uppercut from Branca, but a good... It was a good two-punch combination. Quick fire back into the face of the favourite. I tell you, this turned into a good little fight. Oh, got to watch those heads. Chris 
McCullen. Good body shot there from better and, and maybe keep him a little bit further away, even though he's got to crouch a little to get to him. Nice body work. That is great body work, and that is what is going to slow the Filipino down more than anything initially. Unwillingness to work from the inside by the man. Once they do get almost chest on chest, there's no grappling for position and trying to fight your way out of it. They're almost happy just to score. I think because the, the, the power of the punches from the outside, it's all at, at one solid pace, so it's very hard to let your punches flow off that. We spoke to Daniel Gio earlier. He's probably best asset. Good little body shot there. From Brunka on the turn, it was two. With just under 45 seconds remaining in the fourth. Over the top comes Lario. How does Dole go with weight? Weight in at uh, 60, uh, 56, 95. How does he go with his weight? Is he, what's he fighting at tonight? Yeah, I think this is a round where Joel, you yep. know, he makes his featherweight limit. Oh, nice to tap from Brunker. Uh, you know, quite comfortably, very hard trainer, Joel Brunker. Throughout his senior level in the amateur career was at 57 as well, so he's maintained that into the pro ranks. And I think, you know, Joel's learning along the way, you know, how to make weight better, and I think we'll see the best of that in years to come. International featherweight contest. Joel's got a good mouse under his right eye. We saw him really assert his authority in the closing stages of the previous round. Some big shots, and we thought for the first time, Larry. Larry has got a face like a leather football. There's not a mark on it. And he's walked into a few of them and will continue to. Good jab from Brunka. Brunka, great right hand over the top of the glove and left shoulder. He just crept his feet in the distance oh, and then as sharp as it should be. Oh. That's when you tend to see the clashes and the cuts. Yeah, that's right. Break. Tell Get you back. what, he, no he has taken some left hands, hasn't he? Yeah, hasn't he? Check the right side of Brunka's face yeah. as well. Stop! Stop! I know, back here. He's winning the fight, I've got no doubt about that, but as far as the looks go, I think Roberto Lerio has fared better. Yeah. Well, not that Joel had much looks in the first place. And believe me, when it comes to judging ugly people, this commentary <laughs> team is able to judge and judge. Yeah. <laughs> Straight right, right hand on the back of Ooh, double impact there, Branca. Oh, that's better from Brunker. That is not better. That's perfect. And the receipt was Just identical. Just as good. Very good. Oh. Stop. Get back. Get back. I know. I know. Nice left hook there. That hurt. Laurie. That's better from Brunker. Yeah, and it was the left hand that set that up and just stunned Larry. We spoke about batting ab uh, fighting above your weight. Yeah, Nathan, Nathan is certainly punching above his weight. And this is pokes his tongue out. He's a very laid back character, Joel Brunker. We haven't seen a lot of it over the course of the fight, but we're and really moving back to the ropes more times than not. It's the first sign of fatigue. It's the first real sign of, hang on, this is starting to hurt just a little bit too much. Yeah, it's uh, stay focused and, you know, not get overawed. Stick to his game plan, and he's breaking Lirio down slowly. Bronco, Roberto Lirio. Oh, oh, there the heads come together. Watch as he jabs, just come off. Beautiful shot. But Lirio comes back with a good right hand. Oh, Lirio. Rock 
back a little there. You can see the swelling and the bruising on Roberto's face. More evident now, midway through round number seven. minute of round number seven if you're watching us live don't forget up next knees of fury 31 on from uh, adelaide south australia and with this from branca undefeated in 16 fights and you're seeing a little bit of just why at the moment Oh, nice shot. Yeah, rough. The head back with a straight right hand. And again from Jolly Brunka. Bring the uppercut in next. Oh, there it is. Sit down, Johnny Barber. I'm taking over. <laughs> oh, nice. There's the receipt. Nice counter shot there from Brunka. The receipt was a good one from Lirio. He's a tough boy, Roberto Lirio. Nine stone flat is what these uh, two young men weighed in at, the featherweight limit. I think I was born about featherweight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a clubbing right hand. You got the same haircut as when you were born too, yeah. Andy. Fast going. Oh, oh nice. yeah, starting to break down Lario here. And the tough little Filipino is holding his position. Still throwing the left hand. Yeah, he didn't show any signs earlier on. Maybe he's just getting a bit tired and you never know. Doesn't seem to have too much problems with that at the moment. That's a lot of cut from Branca. Not a knockdown rule, but uh, when the gloves touch the ground, the referee has to stop the contest, clean the gloves off. It's the front of the gloves. If I was Bunker, I'd, I'd be really putting the pressure on this round. Lirio is one hell of a tough guy, strong puncher, but he showed his first sign of weakness just at the end of that last round. So I'd be trying to break him down even more and finish this fight off. Work from Branca. And go again. It was short left hook there. Attempted anyway from Roberto Lirio. Straight right hand. It was taken on the gloves and forearms as Lirio strikes back. And again, that body attack is the preferred attack. Echo around the cube. Great right hand from Branca. It was a good attack from Roberto Lirio, but Branca just comes straight back, landed four or five of his own, and that's exactly what you've got to do when you're trying to break someone down mentally. Always show him that you're always on top. Nothing matters. He's out of here, Lirio. That's it. He's out of yeah, That is it. Joe Branca continues tonight. So we finished late. So we finished well for Joel Brunker. John Barber, delighted the trainer. Thank you, Andy. Anthony Shibley now again with our fighters centering. First of all, give them that big round of applause. They deserve it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in two minutes and eight seconds of round number eight, the fight being stopped because Roberto Lirio was in a position not to be able to defend himself due to an injured shoulder, the fight being stopped. Your winner from the blue corner, the unbeaten Aussie Joel Brunker.